Hi everybody, it's Rob and we're still busy with the SEO training, how to do search engine optimization and this is video number 15 and I've called it Rich Snippets, okay? And it's this stuff, metadata, structured data, author credit, the five star thingy, schema, JSON, JSON. Okay, so it's stuff that kind of falls under Rich Snippets is for want of a better word. And uh, they're all things that I'm going to explain to you uh, a little bit about in a second. Now, let me start with this video by saying this announcement. I only believe in telling the truth. And I have got so blasé about it is that I don't give a crap if people like it or not. And I think that's a good thing because now you get the absolute truth. And here's the truth about this. I think this is all bullshit. The rich snippet things, the metadata, I get that it's, it, it adds up. If your website is already ranking and you're looking to tweak it, that last 2%, and 2% if you're turning over $50,000 or $100,000 or making profit of 50000 actually let's go to 100000 2% is two two thousand dollars So look to fixing this when the rest of your website is literally almost perfect okay so that's my comment i believe that even when i was a full-time seo for clients most of the time they weren't paying me that five thousand dollars a month if you pay a, 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 an seo guy five thousand dollars a month they better be doing your metadata your structured data your schema they really had better I'm not joking. But if you're paying them a tiny portion of that to do your SEO, the truth is they're doing the absolute basics. They're checking that your keywords are done, that there's no badly loading images on your site. You're doing other things that are the basics, all of which I've covered above here, that are far more important than this. So I'm also going to be talking about the tools where a lot of these evil things will problems with this will pitch up and show up in your tools and then you can go back and fix it. But I'm telling you now, and, and so you can bail on this, at 2 minutes and 30 you can say, okay Rob, I'm out of here, you're not going to give me any real information. So what you can do is take these keywords, structured data, metadata, author created, rich snippets, Google them for answers. And in fact, I've opened a freaking 100 pages trying to show you <laughs> what I'm talking about here. So, yeah, just know that I have a cynical view of this. I get that it's technical. Now, I'm not here to teach you to become SEO experts. That's the real truth. I'm here to teach people with fibromyalgia and other debilitating illnesses, even if it's just laziness. Half the time that counts, I think. Um, I teach you how to set up a website that might be hard work for six months, but if you do it right, as per how I say, with the basics of SEO, the basics that I've covered in here, you know, um, sharing, doing uh, backlinks, that kind of thing, if you do all of that right, you will not need to waste the time, in my opinion. Go and watch a movie then, rather than do this. That's my honest opinion. But then remember this, I've also never been somebody that cares so much about huge money. So if I could, if I was already making $10,000 a month, for example, and I knew that I could go and spend a month on my website fixing these things and make that 10000 go to 12000 would I do it? No. I would spend a month down on the beach or flying a cart or going for a walk on the trails because that to me is far more important in life than sitting there learning about how to do structured data now let me not at this point tell you that i've never tried because this is the kind of crap and and you can hear i've got a little bit of a negative attitude towards it that changes and changes and changes all the time on top of it all people are forever trying to sell you tools that will do it and even worse some of those will work very very well and others won't if this is your thing and you're looking for a shortcut Go to my resources, and if it's not in there, email me, and look for my link to Project Supremacy. In amongst all of this that's open, I'm going to cover it with you. First up, let me show you this. I was trying to find my Project Supremacy 
which is hysterical that I've bought it and I don't have a clue which website I put it on. I bought it that it can only go on one website. And over the years I have moved it around between websites. Um, do you, if you use it, if you use the Project Supremacy system, oh, I promise you, your website will rank. Those guys are fantastic. Um, so, yeah. Let me just show you this. I'm in here. I've opened a bunch of my websites just for fun. So this is the Anderson Gift Store. This is image related. So there will probably be Pinterest plugins here. But I've got SiteRanker Pro. I've got Link Checker. I've got, uh, I've got, what else have I got that's in here that, that, that works for this? Nothing. Next one. Uh, web hosting, my hosting versus hosting site. The reason I'm showing you this is over the years I add and change things. So check this out. I've got the SSO plugin in here. Now check this out. But check what it does. Oh my goodness, there's schema markup, there's short code. This is enough to give your eyes watering without doing a thing. So you've got to go and do this. So sorry, my bad. Let me jump back. Jump back. Sorry. Before I show you what this all is, schema markup, rich snippets, metadata, all of these things are tiny little details in the underneath of your website that when you put on your special glasses, which means Google glasses, Google can see what your page is about. Okay. So there's details like this that help Google understand your page better than not. So now, this is very important that I also point this out to you. Let's go into this website and go to a post, any post. I hope I've got a post in here. Actually, I don't think I have. I've got, oh my goodness. I've got draft pages. doesn't matter. Let me just quick edit, click edit. So when you do a page or a post, I've told you this in the SEO. Make sure that you stick to the basics of on page. Go to the on page video and it'll be... Make sure that your keyword is in the title. Um, use the Divi Builder. Make sure it does a whole bunch of stuff in here. Um, meaning sometimes 300 words, sometimes 1,000 words. Uh, make sure it's got videos and links. All of that stuff on page. Now, here. This is meta information. Right? So, if you've added this correctly and you've done a good description and added a phone number if necessary, you've put in 20 or 30 keywords in here. Um, you've put it in the correct category. Your tags are done in here. Can you see these are all things that are obvious on your page? And this is a pretty basic one. All of this is cool. It tells me very simply, sorry, I'm done there, um, that that to me is the basics of this meta tag stuff. Okay. It's the basics. So let's go back into here. Now, WPSSO is a plugin that allows for schema markup, schema short codes, add-ons. It's enough to, I'm not joking, bring you a nosebleed. So you've got to do, this is a bit like the, the, the schema markup, the meta on the website I just showed you on the page. So this does it for your whole website. Now, in truth, it's already done when you set up your website in the settings. I would have taught you to do this when I said build your website. Now you can go in here and hook up your website so that Google knows when Google comes and looks up your skirt in a manner of speaking. Sorry, let's go back to the Google Glasses analogy. <laughs> when Google puts on Google Glasses and sends a bot in here to look very closely at your pores and follicles, Google will find that you do have a Facebook app and a thing and a thing and a thing that all hooks you up to a Facebook page that's related to, in this case, hosting. And your Google tells you stuff, and, and your Pinterest tells you stuff. Can you see? All of these settings add up to, let's go to schema markup, add up to giving all of this under the hood stuff good data, metadata for Google to play with. Okay, so check your knowledge graph really include personal social profile again if you've only got one thing here schema props again it's just the stuff 
you must add image sizes these are all things that you would fiddle with with this plugin by the way which was the SSO which I've even deleted off of websites um, because it slowed down some of my websites when I turned it off and tested it for speed it was like eh, that thing's messing up my speed so my opinion was take this off the little bit of help that I might be getting or might not so check this out. There's all these things that you can set up for this schema markup within this SSO. Do you really want to do it? Your choice. Let's go to this one. Work from home membership. I've got in this one, I've got analytics. Nothing else much to do with the SSO. I think this is the Anderson one. Again, we've been there. Things to make and sell. Same story. SSO setup. I didn't delete it off of there. I must have still been happy with that in that day. Uh, here's another one. WP SEO schema. And schema itself. So these are two different settings. Could have gone to there. That I've got just for this one. So my small business opportunity. I've put up a put in a plugin. That is not the pro version. It's a WP structured data schema. Now what it does is it you've got to set it so that this is what um so in fact this says organization but it should be local business ish but it isn't so you see this is what bothers me about schema is that i'm now telling so let's go to digital so you'd go through this until you found out um online whatever the word is uh electrician so let's go to w you never know there might actually be web design down here Toys, pet shop. I mean, it has to be surely men's clothing, hardware. So you would look for this until you found the right one, and you would. But it better be right, in my opinion. So this is where I start to get the like, excuse me, uh, Mister Plugin. See, I'm not a construction business. I'm not a locksmith. I'm none of these. Am I internet cafe? No, I'm not. So you can see I'm starting to think like in the end you probably find that's why it was put up as um, whatever that was in the beginning adult entertainment that possible sometimes but that's just my sense of humor and I really don't mean to make jokes about boobs guys all the time look at this I seriously I, I turns out I was an organization so you would go in here and and this is my objection to this is when I've done all of this and it's never just this. Um, has it really helped me? I, I wonder. So there's knowledge graph, the graphs. There's just the same one. The schemas. There was setting up your social profiles. And now if I'm right, this page. So let's go to pages, all pages. If I'm right, because the schema is in here. Um at that i did some some good work there check it out it comes up on every page so now the plugin is for wp schema whatever structured data schema so now in theory every time i publish a page i must come and do this in here the canonical canonical url author name that's me featured image and i've repeat i've done this and i felt that it didn't make i mean you have to kind of Put in a piece of the article in here, like seriously, this is before I even get to the page, right? And then it's got the all-in-one SEO pack, which is another one, by the way. And then you redo it all down here. Look, it's asking you for similar things. So it kind of turns schema off. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Yeah, so that was this one. Still the same one. We've been through that. Let's go back to here. I was busy with um, updates. This is the guy, by the way, from, from Herc, a really, really good SEO guy. He's the project supremacy guy, so it's this. And if you go to my resources, I'll send you to a link for that. That really is good. Uh, here's another thing. They know how to make this happen. Can you see the stars? So here's the page I'm on. 
and look he's got one two three four five star rating so that was when i said the other five star thingy i'm told and it's probably true that if you pitch up here this is the search results now if you remember me in the previous um, google analytics video saying yeah now how the hell do i get them to click from here um, if you look these days this by the way is because i've added this so you wouldn't get all of this information but there's not even a description anymore to attract you so it's the page title that's it or there's ratings so you think okay this guy's ah he's fine he knows what he's doing click and he gets the clicks off of this page I think he doesn't even have to be number one and it's amusing because he is number one with his product I wonder what this arrow does nothing at all that matters okay so yeah let's see if this is no that was previous chatting I was doing to you so okay I'm out of here I'm saying rich snippets nah metadata structure if you've done the basics on your page I believe it's enough later on when I'm going to talk to you about tools you'll see me um, contradicting myself and I apologize for that I'm out of here for this video let's go get down to doing other stuff try not to let me use up half an hour every single video of your life take care cheers